Once upon a time in the shower, I loved singing while taking showers. My wife constantly complained about me singing in the shower that I'd get soap in my mouth and end up in a soap opera. One day, I was showering and decided to do a little concert that I'd usually do. I sang my vocal cords all the way to the highest pitch possible and I kept singing and singing not until I heard a honk outside the windows. I peeked and saw a tour bus. It pulled over the front of my house. Before I knew it, a bunch of people I've never seen before came down one after the other and started making their way to my front door. I was puzzled at this point. I had soap in my mouth and was so appalled. I said to myself, why are they here? What do they want from me? I thought to myself, I quickly rinsed my body and wore a towel. Before you know it, I heard the doorbell ring. I rushed down to answer it and the next thing, I saw a bunch of people smiling at me. One was a musician, the other aunts looked like a lawyer, a manager, and a bodyguard. We blinked at each other for like the next five seconds before the musician spoke to me and began the introduction. He spoke about how they're a band group and they'd love me to be their lead vocalist. I smiled and got a nod of affirmation from one of them. Then I proceeded to ask one of them if I'm getting into a soap opera. And they all laughed together and chanted no. Come on bro. I chuckled and told them, you know, my wife always told me singing in the shower would end up with soap in my mouth and a soap opera. We all laughed together on hearing this. Afterwards, I excitedly collected a paper and signed an agreement to be part of the band. We excitedly exchanged each other's contacts and bid each other goodbyes. I went inside my living room to reflect on all that happened. It was all magical, miraculous, appalling. Well, I was happy about it all together. I can't lie. The next day I got a call from my new bandmates if we could practice today. I was excited on hearing this and agreed. We were meant to meet at the drummer's house on Street 15th McKinnon Road. I was excited for it. I called my wife on the phone and told her of my plans to go out for practice. She was happy and wished me a farewell. At this point, I was envisioning us as great group that eventually becomes really successful and I become this famous vocalist and further even released singles of my own, collabed with the biggest artists ever, break records, go platinum and achieve so many big feats. I called the Uber and got to where I was supposed to be. I was welcomed warmly by my bandmates and we got to practice immediately. It was for a single we were working on. Since I just joined the band, they wanted me to release something that would likely be a hit and then we put an album out thereafter. It was a great practice altogether. We chatted about our lives and stories of the past. Afterwards, it was getting late and I decided to book a ride. I waited for the next 30 minutes when I was supposed to go when I got a call from my Uber stating how he wouldn't be able to make it. Oh damn, I said to myself. I ended up spending the night at the boys. I was given a mattress to spread on the smooth wooden floor. I slept peacefully not until the hours of 4 a.m. when a loud bang was heard on our front door. It was a consistent knock and it was loud as hell. Mikey, an instrumentalist in the band, peeked through the door and opened it. And he saw three guys outside. Mikey proceeded to tell us it's their former record label boss and they owed up to $15,000 worth of performance bonus and royalties. I was damn am I screwed? The bang on the door progressed and Mikey opened the door and they entered. So they sat round in the sitting room and there was aura and silence that lasted almost a minute. And one of the men finally spoke. He was like, 
You all know why I'm here, of course. Then he got silent and said, not all of you know. Then looked in my direction and said, who's this guy? Kevin, the guitarist, sighed and said I was the new vocalist. The man gave a deep sigh and replied, so what happened to the other one? Nobody responded for like six seconds and finally Kevin replied. He left the group. The man then looked in my direction and asked, do you know what's going on here, buddy? Do you realize what you've gotten into? I said yes that I agreed to be a vocalist in this band. He smirked and said, well, you know, they owe me a couple bucks because they couldn't keep the end of their deal and now they're going to have to pay or end up in jail or pay with their assists, which have not been able to cover all the expenses. Then he asked after my contract and papers and I showed him. He told me how I've inherited these liabilities and had to pay too. I was puzzled and wondered how and why and he went ahead to explain it. He said that I've been stated as an old member who took a break from the band during and before when they owed money. I was flagger-basted, shocked, appalled, hurt, and Kevin looked in my direction and said to me, This is not meant to be like this. I went into a state of pondering. I started to rethink about my life and thought about so many things. In my mind, I had screwed big time. I felt like my life was over. I felt like trash. I felt like a clown. The man then said to me, Hey buddy, you good? I honestly told him no. I absolutely wasn't cause you know. I felt scammed. I felt used. I felt dumb. I felt foolish. He then gave me a pat on the shoulder and gave me further explanations and went on about how the band could possibly raise the money. He spoke to me about hard work, resilience, and perfection. Kevin and Mikey started apologizing to me, trying to convince me that it wasn't meant to be this way. They explained how they heard me sing every time they passed by and were very impressed with my abilities and thought I should become a star in their band. I was like, okay. They further went to explain how the liability part wasn't an issue as we could go to the studio and give it our best shot and if we make any good amount of money or not to pay the debt, I don't get in any problems regardless. This sounded good to me, and I was like, okay. The man who was the record label executive director decided that he would give us a year to generate money and pay up. This was as explained by him to a very good extent that I understood was due to my presence and the whole circumstance of being being unaware of the entire issue. Like, okay, did I just become a blessing to this people? I started to feel like a king and a main character with all of these playing out. Can't lie, I felt proud of myself. He ordered we get right to the studio to see what we can invent. That was how we began, singing, drumming, rapping, mixing, mastering, and before you know it, we made one of the most awesome songs ever known. It was a really dope song. We knew we were in for a journey of fame and money. Man, we knew it was good music we put out. Uploaded our music to every streaming platform available. People started clocking into our music. We got fans buying our merch, attending our shows, streaming our music. The hard work, the circumstances, the friends I made, were they all worth it? Hell yeah, they were. In no time, the debt the guys owed were soon paid. In fact, I opened and closed tours. From an opera singer in my shower to a renowned famous world star, I started chilling in different islands, going on extravagant vacations with my family, loved ones, and bandmates. It was all very exquisite. One faithful day, I got an email from a movie production company that they wanted me on set for a soap opera movie. 
I was so amused by the whole irony and showed my wife the mail, and before you know it, she started laughing. We laughed so much together. I was so happy about how successful I've become to the point I started getting movie castings. It was all thanks to my great singing voice and the guys that I ended up meeting. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment on it. And if you'd love to see more from us, please make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to our Patreon too for the animated version of this video with more context and other benefits. See you in our next upload guys.